Welcome to question number two, still on WASI Nigeria Federal Mathematics question paper two. Given that uh, x combination 2 plus x combination 3 minus 4x equals 0, where x is a positive integer, we have to find the value of what? x. Let's get started. This is x, pick 2, x, pick 3 minus 4x equals 0. Let's transpose this term that is not making of the combination to the other side, making x combination 2 plus x combination 3 to be equal to what? 4x. Now let's follow by the definition of a combination. Remember, it's going to be the factorial of the term here. Let's see if I can just go direct. x factorial divided by the r here, which is the 2 factorial into bracket, your x minus what? 2, or factorial. This is your r term, the nr. This is how it is being expanded. Plus, the same factorial of the top, then 3 factorial into bracket, your x minus 3, or what? Factorial equals to 4x. All right. Now, what we need to do since an equation, we need to eliminate the factorial symbol from here. And we cannot just cancel them out. So, we are going to uh, look at the, the numerator. In factorial, we are going to multiply the given number by its reduction of its value. What I mean is, if I have 5 factorial, it means multiply 5 by the reduction of each value until you get to what? 1. This is what I'm doing. And in the sense that of that, it means we are reducing each term by 1. So 5 minus 1, give me the next term. 4 minus 1, give me the next term. In that order. So same can be done here by subtracting 1 from the x in order to generate a term that will have x minus 2 for that factorial to cancel. So let's see how that can be done. So I should be having x, which is the first term, multiplying x minus 1. It should be factorial. Then here, it is going to be x minus 1 minus 1. That will be x minus 2. Still factorial. We are supposed to expand to get 1. And because of x, we will continue expanding. So now, divided by 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which will be 2 without a factorial sign this time around. Then x minus 2 factorial will be there. I believe you can see now the common factor between the top and down. So same will be done here. As I have this, it should be x, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. Still factorial. So let me rewrite it. So I can have the factorial sign there. We have x minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 factorial divided by, this is going to be 3 times 2 times 1 in order. And that will give you 6. Then your x minus 3 factorial will come. Remember, this is equals to 4x. I need to get a bigger board. The board is not big enough, but we can manage. So from here, we can now agree that x minus 2 completely with the factorial will cancel this. Then x minus 3 with the factorial will cancel the one in the numerator there. So now I should be left with only x times x. That would be x squared. x times minus 1 minus x. All divided by what? 2 from here. This is gone. Then plus. I think I have to... Do the first one first. Okay, let's do the first one. This time this to give you x squared minus x in one bracket multiplying x minus 2 divided by only 6 equals to our forward x. The second bracket there must be combined with the first one. So can we continue? Okay, uh, let's multiply by the LCM first. Then... Yeah, let's multiply by 6. 
So as I multiply by 6, let me write it. So multiplying by 3, what will it be? Like by 6. I will not be using the multiplication because I want to conserve space. So when I multiply here by 6, three, uh, 2 will divide the 6 3 times. So I will only be having the 3 into bracket, the x squared minus x plus 6 will cancel here. But let's multiply at once x squared times x. That will be x to the power 3. x squared times uh, minus 2. That will be minus 2x squared. Then let's begin with this. Minus x times x. Minus x squared. Minus x times uh, a negative 2 will give you plus what? 2x equals to 24x. Since we are multiplying through by what? By uh, 6. So 6, 4, 24. Let's expand this side also. That will give us 3x squared minus 3x. Do I have any common factor here? So I can have plus x to the power 3 minus 2x squared minus x squared. will give you minus 3x squared. Leaving plus 2x equals to 24 what? x. What do we do? We have to simplify further. I'm seeing 3x squared. 3x squared. So these two will be cancelling. Then in the space of this, this is minus 3x minus uh, plus x, 2x. That will be giving me minus x. So let's see. I should begin with this as uh, x to the power 3. This and this give me, what would that be? Minus x. Transpose this in. Minus 24x equals what? 0. So fast forward. x to the power 3. x, x. So I have minus 25x equals to 0. First thing, I'm having cubic term. x is common. So let's factorize x out. If we divide this, it will be x to the power 2 minus 25 equals to 0. We are taking this as a product of two numbers with their result will be 0, meaning the first number, x, should be 0, or the second number. Yeah, we can do a uh, difference of 2 squared, or we can just transpose it and solve as an equation using the square root. Let me see, the one that will give me a small space, I will be going for that. Let's see, okay, let's see I have x squared, minus 25 equals what? 0. So already, the first value of x is going to be what? 0. Then the other two values are going to be in this place. So from here, I can say that my x squared should be equals to 25. Find the square root of both sides. That should be plus or minus the root of 25. So I can say that my x is going to be minus 5 or what? Positive 5. Remember the values of x we were told to find. We said that x is a positive value. So you are going to ignore the negative. And also, x being 0, remember I did this combination. We cannot have a 0 picking another number. The first one was x combination 2. We have 0 picking 2. It will be impossible. So we are going to have... The value of x alone. So therefore, the value of x is going to be positive 5, with the question demand that we have positive. And even in combination, we need only the positive word values. I guess concept is clear. Feel free to share your thoughts or alternative way of solving it in the comment section as we keep learning together. Come back for question number 3. After you share this, like and comment.